Hey there. Today I want to talk to you about an age-old practice that's been actually happening for thousands of years through various traditions, uh, specifically Eastern traditions. This is something that I adopted before I ever read about it in uh, a book on Zen or Buddhism or Hinduism or anything along those lines. And it's called sitting meditation. I was actually practicing sitting meditation even when I was a practicing Christian. And uh, today I want to uh, share a little bit about sitting meditation and how the practice of sitting meditation will ultimately aid and guide you into the here and the now and why it should become a part of your daily routine. Sitting meditation in essence is simply you sitting I would encourage you to find a comfortable place to sit. Now, I personally like to sit on a Zen sitting mat, pad, or cushion. And you can sit in any number of ways. If you're really going to take this to, um, if you really want to take this to the next level, strongly encourage you to check out Metaphysical Mindfulness class that I'm going to be teaching in September. The next course starts in September. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be beautiful. Check it out. And um, I, ho I hope to see you there. But for now, we're just going to talk about it on a very basic, in a very basic way. And I, and if you practice this by September, you'll be ready to kick it into high gear. Okay. So, uh, sitting meditation, find a comfortable place to sit on your couch, but somewhere where you can sit in an upright posture. Posture is very important with sitting meditation. So make sure that you're not sitting in a slouched way or laying down. So many people sit, come to me when they first start practicing sitting meditation. They're like, why am I falling asleep? Why am I falling asleep? And I'm like, well, how are you sitting? Well, I'm laying down. Well, there you go. Uh, so sitting meditation in essence is this, it's just the practice of observing your thoughts without judgment, period. It's not trying to get rid of your thoughts. It's not warring against your mind. It's none of those things. It's just observing your thoughts without judgment. This is something that people dedicate their entire lives to doing. And it can take quite some time. This is the reason why it should be added to your daily routine because it's not one of those things that you can do for a month or a year and just all of a sudden now you've arrived, but it's something that should be a continual practice. If not daily, at least several times a week, sit for 10, 20, 30 minutes. If I were you, I would start practicing at 10 minutes. Now, when you first start practicing sitting meditation, here's what I want you to do. Again, you're finding that comfortable spot, and I want you to simply count your breaths. What you're going to do is you're going to sit in an upright posture. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Everything's relaxed, but your posture's upright. Your pelvic bone is almost tilted in, so your butt out, pelvic bone in. And you're breathing from your stomach. You're not going to breathe in. Most people, especially in our Western culture, only breathe from the top portion of their lungs. What we want to do is we want to actually breathe from our from my belly. So when we breathe in, the belly inflates. When we breathe out, the belly deflates. Okay? So practice that right now. So we're breathing out through our nose, light, gentle breath, and in through our nose, light, gentle breath. As you breathe in, one. One. Two. Two. You're going to start by counting the breath. And you're going to count all the way up to 10 and then start again at 1. All the way up to 10 and start again at 1. If you have a timer, uh, you can get a meditation app on your phone. If you use a timer, I strongly re rec recommend using a little timer to set so that your mind isn't thinking, how long have I been doing this? So set a timer if, you're, this, if this is your first time to sit in meditation for 10 minutes and try to get in that full 10 minutes. Breathe in gently through your nose, breathe out gently through your nose, and count. Now, after you've done this for about a week of counting, then I would start to move towards no longer counting. But here's what you're going to do. Anytime a thought comes through your mind and it begins to distract you, it might be a thought of, I, I got to do laundry, I got to wash the dishes, I got to go to work, I got this to do. Typically, it's stuff that you have to do or a situation that's going on in your life. And these thoughts come in and they're really distracting you or pulling you out of the moment. And so what you're learning to do is simply observe those thoughts in the same way that you would observe a cloud in the sky. That cloud is not distracting me from this moment. If anything, I can watch that cloud, observe that cloud, and be fully present in this moment with that cloud. So instead, I'm watching it. I don't need to judge the cloud and go, oh, that cloud's small. 
or that cloud's ugly. I don't need to judge the cloud. Instead, I just observe the cloud, watch it. Ah, it's good. The same way we're learning to observe those thoughts. When the thought goes through your mind, I need to do laundry. I should get up and go do laundry. I've got things to do. Just go, ah, laundry. Ah. Observe it, but don't allow there to be any pressure. Don't bring any judgment into that observation. This is an art form. Sitting meditation is an art form. It's one of the many practices associated with mindfulness, and it really is an art all to itself. It's one practice that is must really be developed in your mindfulness routine, in your mind, in, in your life of mindfulness, in the art form of mindfulness. So start there. Start by counting observing without judgment, practice that. Anytime your mind brings you away or you notice a thought, simply observe it without judgment and then let it pass and return to the count, return to the numbers, return to the breath. That's all you have to do. Okay, hope this helps you guys. Go ahead, subscribe right now if you haven't already. Drop whatever comments or questions you have below. I'd love to start a dialogue with you. If you have questions for me, topics you'd like me to cover, go ahead and drop them below as well. I love you guys so much. Stay present in this moment. This moment is all that's fucking real. Have a beautiful day.